Golden Age of Looney Tunes Volume 3. And uh, with me today is my good friend Austin Kelly for Friz Freeling's Return. Say hi. Hi, this is, I, I don't count it as Friz Freeling's Return, because why would you want to count this as someone's first film back, really, honestly? Oh, absolutely, like the blue grass of Kentucky, <laughs> just, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and a real blue blood we're going to see very shortly and I will let everyone know as well before I forget that this does contain as you would perhaps expect in the title of uh, poor depictions of African Americans and it's got a very romanticized and I mean very romanticized version of the uh, South um, to the point where yeah this is kind of awkward to watch but at least it's got some good gags but yeah. <laughs> it's like whew just wiping my forehead. <laughs> uh, and we don't want to say what we're seeing in front of me because that name has uh, been, a bit of, been a bit of a curse on this uh, channel. Um, so, just whistling by, whistling by. So, what, what I've noticed what, in watching this uh, cartoon, and um, I'll get your thoughts on this in a moment, Austin, is that with this being a romanticized version of the South, it appears that, according to that version, that uh, the uh, African-American folks were just content they were happy at times with their role in this particular type of society which we all know the uh, the truth as that's been slowly but surely coming out um i mean what, what are your thoughts on that austin does that sound about right because you're obviously american and i'm not yeah that sounds about right it's kind of a weird portrayal of these um you know uh this time period it's it's an interesting cartoon. It's definitely very dated, but you know, it has it does have some decent gags. I feel like it would have held up better if it were in a different time period, maybe with a different war or something. But then, of course, the whole plot would have to change and everything. Mm. Oh, absolutely. So um, it was interesting that you had that um, that seamstress, that African American girl there. I mean, similar to the part that they cut out in um, in Fantasia, the the. Um, the, the black centaur parts that doesn't mean which is quite notorious but um also two bits of trivia uh first of all we have elma fudd here and voiced by um arthur Hugh Bryan, where apparently um some have said that this was originally going to be egghead um, um is that is that something you've heard as well yeah i've heard it from a lot of people but the times that I've heard it, um, I've heard people claim we're, we're actually over a decade ago. I don't know if uh, those people still uh, believe those claims were, are true. They were reliable sources, like historian Dad Kamarowski and Steve Hart, Stephen Hartley. Um, again, this was a long time ago when they all claimed it, so I'm not sure if they still believe it's true. But I mean, I think it's definitely possible because in the beginning you see Ben Hardaway gets story credit and Cal Dalton gets the animation credit. Which, you know, maybe was their way of making up for the fact that they did a lot of work on this, presumably. But they, of course, weren't going to get credited because Frisk Reeling had taken over the unit. Yeah, that's right. And um, what, what's also interesting about this one is uh, this is the first uh, cartoon with Bea Bernadette in it. And you, you might know her the best um, from the Flintstones, playing Betty Rubble. Um, and she was also in the Three Bears cartoons by Chuck Jones. Um, that, and... Yeah, it's unmistakable. If you know a voice, even I'm thinking, oh, that's her, that's her. I mean, I double check just in case it was a sound alike, but um, yeah. Oh, that's a funny joke, though. This army is unfair to the union. Um, so I'm, I'm a little confused here. Perhaps you can clarify it to me. Now, weren't the, didn't they have the costumes like they were from the South in a moment ago with the grey, but now they're in the blue? Is this Yankee? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. It, I it's guess like it's not consistent. Waking up? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the I don't know. I'm 